Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a drive actually to uh to where are you? I don't know <laughs> you go where. Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a very very quick update on the status of my X5. Uh, those who are new to this channel maybe you can watch the earlier series if you want to follow the progress of my X5 so technically actually it's quite a small update the SA did request for a battery replacement and it was approved so, good news all seven modules will be replaced uh, with a brand new one including the charger so my car will have almost a completely brand new uh, electrical system well except for the electric motor so everything is on schedule and um, I'm hoping fingers crossed to get my car back this week or next week I hope so and um, yeah sorry for the late update because I'm busy with work and trying to hit my KPI because uh, it's going to be November I'm actually recording this on the 31st of October so yeah another two months to meet my KPI so uh, this is a step uh, technically is my own KPI lah. setting my own KPI I, I want to achieve for this year anyway um, anyway for those who don't know what I'm doing actually I'm doing real estate I don't mind sharing the channel if you are into properties I will link above so you guys can check the channel out also if you want to so today I'm going to talk a bit about uh, cars yeah some of my previous cars that I own uh, the one that I miss a lot okay uh, actually technically to be frank with you I own e E39 before uh, 2002 model or 2003 model. I can't remember which year the car was but yeah that was uh, my first BMW it's a 525 E39 M Sport and I love the car actually I owned the car for a couple years then I sold it I bought the uh, used E46 325 yeah, the, the 5 series was brand new I bought it brand new so I then I subsequently sold it because most of my friends driving 3 series and I'm the only young chap driving a big uncle car 5 series um, then I swap it for a 325 so I can get a more sporty feel but to be frank with you I don't really like the 325 in fact it was okay I mean it was sporty zippy going to town I mean going to uh, spirited drive but all in all uh, in terms of comfort level, in terms of um, pristine, I think the 525 E39 uh, wins hands down, especially traveling in on the highway. Yeah, I love it. The car was so uh, planted uh, for its technology back then. Honestly, in terms of design, so I, I quite like it. Even up to today, I kind of fancy that car. Still, well, if I have the chance, I would love to own a E39 M5. Unfortunately, in Malaysia, it's quite a rare gem to find. It's not easy to find. I know, I think one or two owners in the M group who owns the E39 M5. So that is on my bucket list for quite a while. In fact, actually, a couple days or a couple weeks, in fact, last week, I was searching in the UK. Uh, property listing I saw a 2002 E39 M5 uh, it was around 20,000 20, pounds well I inquire here and there with my friends uh, who have more experience in um, importing cars from UK they said um, it's very expensive and uh, the worst part is uh, the car needs to be 35 years old before it's allowed to be imported to Malaysia which kind of sucks I mean they used to be 25 years old now it's 35 
and of course there's a loopholes where you have student AP but then again that is also quite difficult uh, especially when it comes to insurance is very expensive and uh, so yeah even most of my friends they scrapped the idea so when they told me about it then I saw uh, no mood already so <clears throat> yeah that's one car I wish to own it's in my bucket list for like goddamn years well subsequently I own uh, after the 325 I own a E46 M3 manual 2001 version I own the car for about 5 years and I kind of love the car very much However, during that time, uh, after driving it for owning it for five years, a very good uh, time with the car. Enjoy the car very much because it's a stick, it's a pure six-speed manual. So it was fun, honestly. If you don't uh, have a chance to own this car before, or you have a friend who owns it, maybe you can well take a joyride with them, and uh, they will take you around. Uh, it, it, it it's a complete beast it's a very mechanical not many um, electronics back then it was quite a simple car it was beautiful in, in fact up to today i also miss the car a lot uh, which happens yeah to, i miss the car quite a lot actually and guess what happened then after that i decided to sell the the 46 m3 and I bought a family car and guess what I bought <laughs> I bought a E39 again I just don't know why I have an option to go for the E60 but I kind of uh, dislike the look of the E60 uh, it looks so bulky at the time even until today I, find, I still find it very bulky I'm not saying the design is not very pretty but uh, it does grow on me but back then I went back to E39 again I bought a 520 I found, found a very good deal uh, the car so is M Sport uh, year 2003 full spec and um, in terms of power it's quite lagging I don't get the top that I previously had, had on the 525 so yeah then from there I, I owned the car for a couple years or so then I decided to sell it and uh, yeah then I'm bought another wait then I bought another E46 yeah it's kind of strange I bought an E46 328 I don't know what I'm doing back then but I decided to, oh yeah business wasn't doing that well so I decided to trade off uh, that uh, big 5 series for a smaller family car uh, 328 I don't know what I'm doing back then I'm quite young and um I still enjoyed the car but I owned it for a couple years only I think 3 years then I had enough of it then my business was doing very well I bought a house subsequently I bought the E46 M3 again uh, this is a 2003 model 2004 was it? I can't remember I bought it from a friend who introduced from a friend so that car was in tip top condition it was a SMG uh, I wasn't looking for an SMG to be frank with you uh, it just so happens that that car was in mean condition it has um, all the service done most importantly is the, the SMG uh, pump was replaced and brand new and it was only driven about 8,000 kilometers and it has also been the actuator also was the SMG actuator also was replaced brand new and it came with the CSL, original CSL trunk, original CSL rims. So it was a wow, beautiful car, so uh, very low mileage. I got it, if not mistaken, about 40,000 uh, 40, kilometers. Yeah. Then I owned the car for five years and I sold to another fellow enthusiast um, for almost the same money that I bought it. It was... Um, I didn't really lose much money except for the wear and tear maintenance and for the past 5 years I owned the car I put in about 20,000 kilometers I barely drove the car so I decided to sell it off and I bought the E53 X5 uh, 
that is my first X5 and I was uh, very happy in fact uh, because the reason why I sold it also is because I need um, a car that I can daily I barely use the M3 for 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 any anything except for speeded driving with fellow M owners and uh, so I decided to buy an X5 uh, and I I travel a lot, a lot with X5 to be frank you I go to Raup, I go to Bentong that time I was doing a lot of uh, um, land and uh, orchard land like Bentong, I'm pretty sure you guys know is a durian orchard. Yes, I was going there quite often, driving the X5, even crossing rivers and going up slope, muddy slope, uh, on the hill, about 35, 35 to 30 to 35 degrees of uh, hill uh, angle, and I even crossed a river which is about four four lane wide, but it's not that deep. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's about almost two feet of that so I managed to cross river so with the X5 it was perfect I, I bought it very cheap in fact I bought it for about four, close to 50,000 then I sold it after owning it about, three, about four years and um, I bought this X1 the E84 X1 um, for my wife then I haven't thought about any car this yet to replace the car until of course the current x5 i have is the f15 x5 yes uh, that's the current most current one so yeah there's a brief history um, of all the bmws that i own um, i'm not talking about other japanese cars or the local cars just purely bmw first so these are my few brief history um, the car that i miss the most is the the m3 e46 m3 regardless whether it's manual or the stick or that SMG but I love the stick a lot and uh, the car that I want to have in a bucket list actually is a E39 M5 but I don't think it's easy to get in Malaysia so the next best V8 will be the E92 M3 so that is on the bucket list but priority number 2 lah, to be frank with you so if I can get the E39 M5 obviously for the same price, I will go for the E39 M5. Yeah, it's not as powerful as E92, but I I kind of like the car a lot. I love the car a lot. The design is like a modern classic. Lah. I don't know. For those who are familiar with the design, or maybe you've seen it, the well-kept mean version. Lah. Sometimes I see it on the road, I, I, I will look at it, wow, I wish I owned that. But then again, I know it's not very easy to get. So that's it. I don't want to bore you guys with all the cars that I previously owned. But it was a journey. Lah. Now lastly is um, obviously I hope to get my car back this week or next. If I do, I will do a new video and I'm going to show you what is being replaced or what is uh, and how much it costs. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.